I choose to manifest miracles. And I choose to love and accept myself. I choose to manifest miracles. And I choose to love and honor myself. I choose to manifest miracles. I choose to be in such a good place that I attract really good things to me. There are so many opportunities out there and I'm attracting the best opportunities for myself and others. I choose to manifest miracles and I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And maybe anyone else involved. Maybe everybody else on the planet. I choose to manifest miracles. I choose to manifest miracles. And I'm clearing whatever might get in the way of them. Whatever might stop miracles from happening in my life. I'm clearing that stuff out. There are so many opportunities for me. In terms of my physical well being, in terms of my emotional well being, in terms of my financial well being. And I choose to be as open as possible. There is still abundance in this world. There is still beauty. There is still love. And I'm saying please and thank you. I'm saying yes to all that wonderful stuff. And for some of these wonderful things to happen, it might feel like it would take a miracle. And I choose to be okay with that. I'm allowing these miracles to show up for myself and the world at large. I'm open to miracles happening. I'm sending miracle energy to healthcare workers. I'm clearing the way for miracles for scientists. So that they can have miraculous discoveries. that benefit us in so many ways. All kinds of good things are still coming. Just as with every tragedy throughout history, humankind bounces back. And I'm helping to manifest a miraculous bounce. I choose for us to bounce back in a miraculous way. And I love and appreciate all those parts of me
that have been responding in so many different ways. All these responses of sadness, all this anger response, all this fear response, all this frustration, all this guilt, all these different fearful feelings. I've been doing the best I could responding in the best way I know how based on my old programming, based on my old experiences, based on what other people have taught me to do. Even if those people were nincompoops, I still learned from them. And they were doing the best they could. So I'm honoring my feelings. Thank you for that response. Now I'd like to move on. Because those things can slow up the miracles. The better I feel, the more good I can co-create. And I'm choosing to co-create some miracles. That's going to take all the mojo I can muster. And in order to boost my mojo, I'm clearing out the discomfort. Allowing myself to know whatever I need to know. These uncomfortable thoughts and feelings are there for a reason. But I can get the message and take appropriate positive action without staying stuck in discomfort. I'm giving myself real emotional freedom to feel as good as possible. And I know part of me says I can't And I don't need to feel bad if it takes me a long time. I'm not doing it wrong if I, feel, if I still feel discomfort. Some things take longer. But healing happens. Recovery happens. Joy happens. Peace happens. Love happens. Prosperity happens. Miracles happen. Hashtag tapping helps. I'm giving myself permission to let go of what doesn't feel like love. Because eventually I'll just have love. And that's got some real miracle manifesting mojo.
So I'm allowing myself to feel more of that in body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. All right, and we're getting close to the top of the hour. So as I've been doing on all of these uh, live events, we're gonna close out with some guided imagery. So you can hold off on comments for a moment and just go ahead and close your eyes, get comfortable. Take a deep breath in and hold it. And let it go. Another deep breath in and hold it. And let it go. A third deep breath in and hold it. And let it go. Now just breathing comfortably with your eyes closed. Breathing comfortably and just imagine that with each breath you take in, you breathe in relaxation and positive energy. Go ahead and imagine a healing light of whatever color you like. So that with each breath you take in, your lungs comfortably draw in that healing light, allowing it to flow through every muscle, nerve, fiber, tissue, cell, and atom of your body. Go ahead and imagine a healing shower flowing down crystal clear water that's a perfect temperature as it flows over the top of your head, soothing and relaxing your scalp, washing away fear, doubt, anxiety, washing away anger, sadness, guilt, shame washing away pain, frustration, disappointment, embarrassment, washing away all these uncomfortable feelings, washing them away to reveal the light that you truly are, this unique expression of divine light and love, the true essence of who you are, allowing more and more of that light to be revealed as that healing shower flows over your forehead relaxing the muscles in your face, flowing down over the back of your head, your neck, your shoulders, washing away tension, leaving your shoulders calm, comfortable, and relaxed. Healing shower flowing down your arms, all the way down over your fingertips, down over your chest and your stomach, soothing and relaxing, healing and cleansing, and allowing yourself to remain comfortably in whatever position you choose Allow that healing shower to flow down over your upper and lower back. And as your torso relaxes, your internal organs comfortably do whatever they need to do to achieve and maintain your optimal level of health and well being in body, mind, and just as you relax, imagining every part of your body getting stronger and healthier. that healing shower continues down over your body, down over your hips and your thighs, over your knees, down your lower legs, through your ankles, into your feet. And finally, that relaxation flows over your toes as you allow yourself to relax twice as much. Going at least twice as deep with each number as I count backwards, five, drifting down to four, floating down to three, two, one, and zero is deep sleep. Remembering again that each and every time you hear me say the words deep sleep with your permission and only with your permission, you allow yourself to return to this depth or even deeper, 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 quickly, soundly, deeply. And the physical body relaxes and with that relaxation comes a wonderful sense of calm well-being of body and mind deeper, deeper, Five, four, three, two, one. And zero is deep sleep. And in this calm, comfortable state of mind and body, 
go ahead and imagine yourself in some beautiful place. Could be a place that you know or a place completely of your own imagination. And in this beautiful place, allow yourself to notice a magic wand. Could be sitting on a table or a rock. I mean, depending on where you are, there's this magic wand there. And as you pick up that wand, when I think about this wand, it has a little meter on it, like a little gauge of how much mojo that wand has. It's the mojo, the magic mojo. And allow yourself, as you're holding that wand, to see the meter going up. And just notice that the better you feel, the more that gauge goes up, the more mojo, the more magic this wand has. Allow yourself to recognize that the better you allow yourself to feel, the more you allow yourself to not just dismiss uncomfortable feelings, but allowing yourself to process them. Allow yourself to process them so you can move through them to get to a better feeling place. That mojo meter goes up on that wand so it has even more magic and just allow yourself to look around the world. Now, interesting thing about this wand, you can only use your powers for good here. No smiting or smoting anybody with this wand. This is a wand that you can only use for good. And in fact, if there is anyone that is upsetting you, allowing yourself to know that person is struggling, that person is suffering. And so allowing yourself to use this wand to send positive loving energy to them so that they feel better and no longer need to do those things. Just looking around the world and seeing what you want to use this wand for. And certainly you can allow yourself to use your magic right now to improve your financial situation, improve your physical health and well-being. You can use that wand to aim it at yourself and boost your immunity and boost your prosperity and anything else. You can use your powers for good for yourself and for others. Creating miracles. Manifesting wonderful things. And again, seeing that meter on the, uh, on the wand and allowing yourself to recognize, wow, I have much more magic, much more mojo when I allow myself to get, to get to a better feeling place. Loving and honoring yourself for whatever feelings you have. You're not wrong or bad for feeling uncomfortable feelings. Those are normal responses and programmed responses and allowing yourself to look and say, okay, I appreciate myself for feeling this. How long do I need to hang on to it? And what can I do that would be more productive, more beneficial for me and others? And allow yourself to feel better and better. See that magical mojo meter going up and up and allowing yourself to send more positive, loving energy across the world to yourself and others, manifesting miracles and making things better and better. And allowing yourself to feel good about that. Let's go even deeper now. Five, four, three, two, one. And zero is deep sleep. In a moment, I'll count you back out from zero up to five. Five will be wide awake, alert, focused, and energetic, feeling much better than before feeling your uh, magical mojo being much higher. Tonight, when you choose to go to sleep, don't be surprised when you fall asleep quickly, soundly, deeply, and sleep very well through the night. During the night, you'll dream. The more you dream, the stronger you become. I'm going to ask your unconscious mind to allow at least one of your dreams to be a very healing dream. Continuing this healing process in body, mind, and spirit so that in the morning, at the time you've chosen to wake up, you wake up easily, feeling refreshed, energetic, and ready to start the day again, powerfully moving forward with more magical mojo, manifesting miracles, moving powerfully forward into an ever more joyful experience of an ever greater abundance of health, wealth, 
happiness, and love, which are your birthright and which benefit others. And now we go back down to zero, which is always deep sleep, allowing your mind, body, and spirit to digest all these positive thoughts and images, taking them in at a very deep level so that these positive changes occur easily, effortlessly, and naturally. Coming up to one, feeling physically relaxed. Two, feeling emotionally calm and confident. Three, health and well-being, enthusiasm, love, joy, and gratitude flowing through every muscle, nerve, fiber, tissue, cell, and atom of your body. Four, becoming more and more alert and aware of your surroundings. And five is eyes open, wide awake. One, two, three, four, five, eyes open, wide awake. One, two, three, four, five, eyes open, wide, wide awake. And welcome back.